is describing an image. Let me be honest with you, Amali. This form is little confusing for some students. Some students don't really know how to describe a certain image, and other students uh, uh, stop uh, talking in the middle of the uh, uh, task, and they don't know how and what should they speak. So let's... Okay. Exactly. Let's try to give you the tips, strategies uh, that uh, you have to keep in mind just to be able to describe any image correctly. So this is our next form, but let me just go up to describing an image. Aha, uh -huh, I think this is it. And I have to just try to make zoom in to be able to see the page clearly, yes, okay. So this is our next form, which is describing an image. This is the exact screen uh, which is going to be shown in front of you about describing an image. So this okay. is a long answer speaking task. Absolutely. It's, uh -huh. it's long answer speaking task, okay. Long is about 40 seconds. You have to speak for a complete 40 seconds, uh, Ali. Okay. okay. Yeah, absolutely. There is going to be 25 seconds to prepare yourself to take a look at the image, to take a look at the picture, to understand the picture before speaking. This is the screen. Let me just try to make zoom in. I know that the screen is not totally clear, but I'm going to uh, try to explain as much as you can. Okay. So notice the question is saying, look at the map. So here we have a map about Africa below. In 25 seconds, you have to check the image. Please speak into the microphone and describe the details about this map. You have 40 seconds to give your complete response. So this is the okay. count. Exactly. This is the way that uh, the seconds uh, are going to be shown on the screen and absolutely this is the image or the picture or maybe the diagram that is going to be shown on your screen. Let me just try to make zoom out just to uh, 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 make something clear. Okay, so these are the instructions that you have to read in every module and this is the image that you have to describe. This is the recording status box that uh, tells you when the microphone is going to be open and when the microphone is going uh, to be uh, closed because you have to speak. Okay, so as I told you, the first thing you have to do, please, Amali, which is taking a careful look at the image. You have 25 seconds before the microphone is going to be open. In this 25 seconds, you have to completely understand the image. Absolutely, you have to take a look at every single detail in the image. Don't start speaking until you fully understand the image. This is the first piece of advice I tell my students all the time in this 25 seconds. So please, understanding the image is extremely important. And absolutely, you have to uh, 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 take closely to the image. Now, after the 25 is going to be finished, you have to identify the main features or trends. The meaning of tr trends, um, Ali, is directions. Directions. Yeah, directions about the line. By the way, we are going to discuss everything, don't worry. But the meaning of trends is directions. Maybe the line is going to go up in 2000, for example, or down. By the way, we are going to discuss this. Okay. Uh, I have, as I told you in the beginning, I have to ad identify the main features, the major contrasts and comparison. Uh, I'm talking about the similarities and differences. Absolutely, you, your job is to find the similarities and differences uh, uh, between lines, between graphs, or between uh, uh, columns, if it is a column chart. I'm going to explain, don't worry. So, okay. please, we have to check the main 
ideas. You have to take a close look to the image and you have to completely understand the image. There is something I need to know. I need to tell you. It's not don't describe every detail. You have to describe every detail, Amali. But first of all, you have to describe the main ideas. Then you have to go into details. Because if you notice here that your score is going to be higher if you conclude as well as the main points, any developments, any implications you can say, or any conclusions. Absolutely, we are going to discuss, but keep in mind that you have to, uh, uh, not only to mention the main ideas or points, you have to go into details. You have 40 seconds, 40, 40 seconds to be honest, Amali is really enough, not only to describe the main ideas, and even you can go into uh, details. Okay. Make, making notes is really important. I mean by making notes all the time, Amali, if I want to say make notes, you have to write only the main words. I mean, you have to write only two words, three main words. Make notes is not to complete, is not to write the complete answer. Some students think that taking notes is writing the complete answer. It isn't. Take notes is only to write the main ideas only because you have to speak about them you don't have a whole day just to write the complete answer then you have to read the answer this is not reading so please exactly. yeah please take notes only a few words two three main words that is it okay as i told you before amali some students describe the main ideas in 20 or 25 seconds for example and they stop talking please don't stop talking. You have to keep speaking. The examiner, Am Ali, needs you to speak. Absolutely, this module is for speaking because uh, the examiner needs to check your proficiency in speaking skill. So you have to speak. You don't have to stop speaking until the forty minutes, uh, the forty seconds, so it is finished. So you don't have only to describe the main ideas. You have to go into details absolutely we are going to discuss that don't worry wait sorry some okay okay some students amali make some mistakes and they don't correct themselves if you want to ask me why because some students feel really shy in correcting the mistakes and other students think that the 40 minutes seconds is not enough to correct my mistakes don't do so please any mistake you commit, you have to correct it immediately. Before the before the microphone the microphone closes, because if you don't correct yourself, absolutely the mistake is going to be a mistake. And it will be considered as error or mistake. Absolutely, you are going to lose marks. So any mistake you will be aware of or, or you will uh, discover please correct it immediately before the microphone closes, as I told you, because this is extremely important. Okay, to be honest, Am Ali, in describing images, we have two types of images. We have line chart, we have bar chart, we have graph chart, we have column chart, we have too much, or let me say not too much, we have some charts, uh, 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 that you will be asked. Let me show you all the names of the charts uh, and we have to complete. Let me open a second book and show you the charts uh, that are going to be shown uh, on the PTE exam. Let yeah. me go down to the charts that I have to explain and I'm going to name all the charts and you have to do so. I mean, you have to name the chart that is going to be shown uh, on the screen. Okay. If you want to take a look at this chart, Amali, this chart is called a flow chart. Now, if you want to ask me why this chart is called the flow chart, because it is talking about a process of doing something. Again, yeah. any, any picture, any chart, this chart is talking about changes or a process of doing something. This is called a flow chart. So you will, chart. 
Yeah, if you want to take a look at the picture, so notice this is number one. After that, we have this picture. This arrow is going to be shown about this process, then this, then this, uh, 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 or maybe there till the end of the uh, process, which is delivery. So again, any image is talking about changes about something or the process of doing something. This is called a flow a chart. This is number one. Number two, Amali, some people think, or some students think, if they don't know all the meaning of the words that are going to be shown on the screen or the image, they will not able, they will not be able to speak. This is wrong. It's not a must to know every single, to know the meaning of every single word. You can explain any process of anything without knowing the meaning of all words. Let me give you an example. Okay. Maybe uh, maybe I don't know the meaning of ruler, or maybe... So, sorry, just one second. Just one second. Yeah, sorry. Okay. So again, maybe I don't know the meaning of digger or clay, for example. That doesn't mean that you will not be able to describe the image. It's not a must, as I told you, to know the meaning of every single word. You can explain any process just by saying the word. It's enough sometimes, Amali, it's enough only to understand the whole image. For example, uh, I don't know the meaning, as I told you, of, 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 of oven, for example. But I can explain. I can say that in the beginning, we noticed that we have a digging about something into the clay. After digging, we can have, for example, metal grid. This is a ruler. Then we can uh, 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 try to form a bricks. So sorry. So we speak like that, like what you what the, the way the way you're speaking now or no? Yeah, I like that. But you have to uh, mention the details. Okay. I mean, I mean, you have to say that by adding sand and water. We will have. Okay, sorry. Uh, just, just, just what I need from you. Let, let you try now. You are on the on the um, test. Okay, and uh, the this do it, do, do uh, this picture for you. Yeah. Okay. So okay. what what yeah what you'll start? Okay, you have to start by naming the chart. This is the first piece of advice I have to tell you. You have to say Ali. This flow chart shows that we have a digger. Okay. Digger, okay. Ah, this digger is digging or digs. You can use simple, a present, or a present continuous. Okay. Ah, we cannot use simple past, for example. You cannot. You cannot use the future tenses. This is wrong. So the only two tenses that are allowed, uh, um, which are simple present and present continuous, except for. Except for, Ali, if we have two images, we have to check the differences and similarities between different dates. For example, let me give you an example. Let's imagine that we have a certain place. We have to discuss this place in 1999 and, for example, in 2024. Absolutely, 1999 is in the past. And because the it past. is in the yeah, because it is in the past, you have to use the simple past. Or the past tenses. We cannot use the simple present because the date is in the past. But the second picture or the picture that shows the date about today, I have to use, as I told you, simple present or present continuous. Yeah. Okay. 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 So I have to say that this flow chart shows or expresses a digger that digs in the clay. Now this clay is put or managed upon the metal grid. Notice that, uh, maybe, I don't know the exact meaning of metal grid. And absolutely, uh, we are going to use the ruler. But it's not our job to, it's not, sorry, but it's not our job to uh, explain to the, to mm. the uh, speaker what the metal grid, yeah? No, 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 you don't. You have, Ali, you have only to de describe the process, to explain the process about, about doing something. 
You don't okay. have to, ah, you don't have to explain what the metal grid does, for example. This is something wrong. It's not your job to do it. Okay? Okay. Then you can say by adding sand and water into the clay, we will have bricks. Okay. Now, by we can say that by processing the bricks, for example, in this one, which is mold, after that, we can put the bricks into a drying oven. When the bricks are dried, we can put them in the kiln. I don't know the meaning of kiln, but I can explain correctly. Then after that, we have a cooling chamber just to uh, cool the uh, bricks down. After that, we have the process of packing to pack the uh, bricks. Then all the bricks are going to be uh, put, for example, into the truck for delivery. So notice that I explain the process, and we, we absolutely we have to discuss the Celsius, the degrees, Celsius. Maybe you have Fahrenheit or something like that. Notice that moderate. This is the moderate, the normal temperature, which is about two hundred Celsius. But here it's the temperature is little high. We notice that the maximum, for example, is one thousand three hundred Celsius. So we have to say that when the temperature is a little higher, absolutely just to form or make the bricks. After that, the process of cooling down. I mean, Amal, you have to take a look at every single details. Notice that we have 24 to 48 hours. You have to say that the bricks should be <coughs> dried uh, uh, from 24 hours to 48 hours. You cannot, we cannot neglect the details that are shown on the picture. We have to uh, include every single detail, every detail that is written uh, uh, in the image. We have to mention all of them. We cannot neglect them. But the main goal or the main idea Amali, that I can express the process of something without knowing the meaning, for example, of kelp or maybe champ or maybe oven. Okay. Okay. So this chart is called a flu chart, which is about changes or maybe the process of doing something uh, 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 that we have to explain. Now, this chart is called line chart. This is it. If you if you want to check this image, we can notice that we have some lines like this. When 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 I do the test, mm -hmm. when I when I do the test last time, so they are coming same when this, you did. Uh, lines yeah ah this is uh, the most familiar chart um, yeah. exactly this is really important this is the most important one mm. yeah but i didn't i didn't see anything just i i'm because it's new for me the the exam, ah, the oh, okay. exam so yeah by the way by the way let me tell you what what are the things that we have to do in in in, in describing the line a graph First of all, this is line graph or line chart or line diagram or line picture, whatever you want. So this is called line graph. Now, in explaining the, the line graph, Amali, first of all, I have to take a look at every single detail we have in the image. In the image, we have hamburger. This is number one. We have fish and the chips and we have pizza. So we have three different things and colors. So notice the red color is about fish and the chips. The blue color is about hamburger and absolutely the green one is about pizza. And notice that here we have numbers. And here we have dates. Okay? Yeah. Okay, so now after taking a look at every single detail and absolutely after uh, describing, uh, after uh, understanding the image, now I'm ready to describe the line chart. Okay, so this is called a line a chart and it shows the changes over time, over period of time. Now let me try to read the details just to show you the best way to understand the image. 
So here is the type of diagram, as I told you, that is the, oh, it's not a table. Ah, okay. So this is it. And there is something I need to tell. Uh, if you if you if you want to take a look at the book that we have just discussed, if you want only just to describe the main ideas, you will not be able to describe the details in these dates. I mean, Ali, I mean, in describing the image, you have to conclude all the changes in these dates. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. You don't, we don't have to neglect the dates. These dates are not these dates are not written for nothing. Absolutely. I have to describe them and I have to check the changes uh, that happened in these dates. So in each in each example, the hamburger, okay? Mm. So in in nineteen seventy, mm. how much in nineteen seventy five? Oh, bravo. Like, if it what? is up or down. Okay, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, all all the expressions that we have to use, absolutely, I'm going to show them to you. Don't do it. But now we are talking in general. Okay? Yeah. Okay. So this is line chart. And this chart, if you want to take a look at this chart, this chart is called a table. A chart, absolutely, because all the information is within a list. And this is called table chart. And absolutely, I have to take a look with, and not only I have to read every single detail. So the selected leisure activities, the participation weights, we are talking about weights percentage in four weeks before the interview, now by age, this is age. Notice that the percent about age group, we have people from 16 to 19, people from 25 to 29, people from 60 to 69 so this is about ages we have here about the percentage i mean 19 and about the percentage 99 percent 63 percent this is the meaning of percentage so notice that here we have leisure activities now we are talking about people that uh, who sorry i'm not talking about people who are watching tv or dvds uh, concerning this age, this so age, what mean leisure, leisure activity? Leisure is the time of entertainment, okay. the time of relaxing and doing the things that you love to do. Okay. Okay. So we notice that from this age, sixteen to nineteen, the percentage of people uh, that uh, who are watching TV are ninety nine percent. So here we have what? Okay, let me tell you the main reason of describing an image, uh, Ali. The main reason is to compare and contrast. The meaning of compare is to find similarities. And the meaning of contrast is to find differences. Okay, contrast. So again, the main goal of describing the image, I'm not talking about the process. The main goal is to find similarities, which is comparison, and differences, which is contrast. We notice here that we have no difference in the percentage. It is the same. So this is comparison. Here, yes, I know that they are the same, but we have something different. Here, the percentage about listening to music, for example, uh, between these ages is really different. Yeah. Yeah, so we have to find, as I told you, the similarities and the differences. But before speaking, as I told you, you have to read every single detail about visiting, for example, entertain entertaining with friends, relations, listening to music, reading books till the end of uh, the uh, information. And you don't have to neglect what, the numbers. What, what this one, DIY? DIY. It means what? DIY. It's abbreviation. Mm. Abbreviation. Abbreviation about something. Okay. Yeah. Let me check this out. Wait. Okay. The DIY means the activity of decorating, building, and making repairs at home. Okay. okay. Yeah, I googled that, and I noticed that the DIY, again, is the abbreviation about 
decorating, uh, building, and making repairs at home. If something wrong or uh, yeah. uh, broken at they home. Fix, they fix uh, up the, the uh, home if you have something. Uh, exactly, yes, exactly. This is gardening, this is dressmaking, needlework, and knitting. Okay, so this is called, again, a table, a chart you have, as I told you, to name the chart before speaking. This chart is called pie a chart. Let me tell you that this chart is called pie chart because it looks like pies. For example, the apple pie, we notice that the apple pie looks like this. If you want to eat, uh, I'm sorry, maybe I'm a little bad at uh, drawing, but let me try to dry to draw so with the apple pie. Uh, it's something like that. If you want to eat uh, 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 apple pie, for example, we notice that it's like a triangle like this. Am I right? Okay. Yeah, because this is the way that I have to uh, make a pie. So we notice that any pie, for example, like apple pie, we have here the apple pie like this. And maybe in the middle, we have the pieces of apples before baking it. So we notice that this is called pie because this chart looks like pies. So this is called pie a chart because all of the uh, pies are the shape of the pies are what? Triangle. Okay. Okay. So this is called, as I told you again, pie a chart. Absolutely, I have to take a look at every single detail. Now, it is saying that the percentage, this is the meaning of percentage, the percentage of electricity produ production by fuel, okay, source in France in 1990 and 20 uh, and 10 or 2010. So these are the two main dates. And absolutely, these two uh, pie charts are talking about coal, which is in the blue. This is it in blue color. Oil, which is in green color. This is it, green uh, and uh, blue. Natural gas, which is in yellow. Now, hydropower, which is in orange color. And nuclear power, which is in red. Absolutely, I have to check the similarities and differences. Okay? Okay. So, and I have to talk about all of them. Not only all of them. I have to talk about all the percentages that we have in uh, these two uh, charts. So, it's not only your mission, um, I mean, um, Ali. Your mission is not only to express the main ideas. You have to go into details. You have 40 seconds. Don't worry because the 40 seconds is enough to describe whatever you want. Okay? So, yeah, so you start by color. Example, the blue will start from uh, uh, left uh, left one from 1990 uh, to uh, what what we have, the uh -huh. percentage of Amazing. the blue color, the coal. Uh, okay, this yeah, is a good uh, question, Ali. Let me tell you something. In describing an image, you have to go or you have to use the chronological order. Do you know the meaning of chronological order? No. It's to go step by step, the logical chain. I mean, what is the first information that is existed here? So coal? You have to talk about coal. Then you have to talk about oil. Then natural gas, then hydropower. Finally, you have to talk about nuclear power. Don't destroy the chrono chronological order. I mean, don't talk in the beginning about hydropower, then jump to talk about coal, then just jumping to talk about nuclear power, then natural gas, finally, to talk about oil. This is wrong. You have to use the chronological order all the time. Okay? Absolutely. Yeah. Because if you don't want to do so, you will destroy the unit of the chart, and this is wrong. Okay. Mm. And absolutely, you have to talk about these two dates. Okay. Let me go down just to show you the second chart. This chart is called column chart. 
And this one they're coming, yeah. And ah, this one, this these, one. yeah, the line chart, the column chart are the most familiar ones in the PTE exam. Not only the PTE exam, to be honest, it is with the IELTS exam again, because this book is for IELTS exam. And we notice that the approximately the forms and the tasks are the same. But this is writing in the in the IELTS exam and in the PTE exam is speaking. Okay. So this chart is called column, a graph or chart. Why? Because it is like columns. This is a column. And the two main ideas are what? Career and interest. So we will talk about reasons for study according to age of the student. Okay, so this is it. I'm talking about age here of the student. And these are the main ideas and here my job is to check the similarities and differences is to compare and contrast yeah i know that everything is different except for this one we have a similarity okay yeah okay so maps aha uh -huh. okay this is called a map writing these of diagram okay so this is a map. Now, if you notice that here, my job is to check the differences between two places in two different dates. So you have to, as I told you, to check the similarities and differences. We notice that in this date, there were only three trees, but in 2007, we have only only one, yeah, yeah one tree. This is a, this is a difference. In the past or in this date, we had a river, but in this map now we have residential areas. So we have to check the similarities and differences. We notice that here we have post office, and here we have post office. So nothing is changed. Here we have a bank, and here we have a bank. Here we have library, and here we have library. So it's not a must only to check the differences. You have to check the similarities and differences. Okay? Okay. So these are the charts. Let me check if I have something new just to explain. Okay. Now, let me show you the rubric. Ali, the speaker, or maybe the examiner is going to adopt just to check your paper or to... Uh, uh, score you or examine you. Now, if you want to answer, if you want to speak, you have to fully answer or satisfy all the requirements. So please, you have to speak about all the details that are existed in the image. Don't miss anything, any detail, because every single detail is written not for nothing. Absolutely, uh, 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 the details are talking about a goal and you have to speak about them okay mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay you have to <coughs> speak clearly absolutely in speaking you have to uh, speak the examiner should 